Today, the president commemorated one momentous event, the March on Washington, as he contemplated another, a possible military strike on Syria. We're going to start tonight with the 50th anniversary of the march and Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. President Obama stood as Dr. King did at the Lincoln Memorial and addressed a crowd of thousands gathered on the National Mall. He paid tribute to those who had marched a half century earlier demanding jobs and freedom. On the battlefield of justice, men and women without rank or wealth or title or fame would liberate us all in ways that our children now take for granted as people of all colors and creeds live together and learn together and walk together and fight alongside one another and love one another and judge one another by the content of our character in this greatest nation on earth. The president had warned yesterday that his speech would not be as good as Dr. King's, which is considered by many to be among the best political speeches of all time. Jeff Pegues was in the crowd for us today. A crowd of tens of thousands pressed up against barricades on the National Mall. Young and old arrived from across the country to join a celebration half a century in the making. Edith Hill Cannon grew up in the 60s in Mississippi. As much as my parents tried to protect me, you couldn't escape discrimination. Do you ever forget the discrimination? No. She listened to a who's who of celebrities and politicians, including the daughters of two presidents, Linda Johnson Robb and Caroline Kennedy, and two former presidents, Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton. This march and that speech changed America. They opened minds, they melted hearts, and they moved millions. The event included a recreation of the 1963 march through the streets of Washington that ended at the Lincoln Memorial. Setting up a nearly five hour program under cloudy skies and periodic rain. Congressman John Lewis returned today, the only speaker here to share the stage in 1963 with Dr. King. This moment in our history has been a long time coming, but a change has come. Bill Tate says he was here too, 50 years ago. That day when Dr. King made that speech, what were you thinking then? I knew we were in a moment of history. You look around and you think, this is history. From every mountainside, let me win. Dr. King's message echoed across Washington once again today with the ringing of bells at 3 p.m., 50 years to the hour of his historic speech. And Scott, the bell that was rung here today came from the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama. Two weeks after Dr. King delivered his speech here, the Klan bombed that church, killing four African-American girls. The bell is a symbol of the triumph over racism. Jeff, thanks very much.